Hello, in this one, Unleash Lightning Shot, Critical and Maximize builds. I'm gonna start with a Maximized and then explain the differences that you need to do for a Critical build. Just remember, I always try to make these builds as friendly as possible for new players. So I'm cutting out a lot of difficult stuff. But yeah, let's get into this one. For early skill board on a Maximized build, we are looking for something like this. On Unleash Lightning Shot, we want to have Shadow Archer 100%. Then into additional lightning damage, confidence, quick attack, persistence, and split projectile. You don't have to use split projectile in here, you can use winding wind if you want more movement speed. Also acceleration works, and at the same time you can use multi-shot for more map clearing. But split projectile is kinda the best choice in here. For attack enhance, we are looking for maximum, with increased duration and time acceleration. At the same time for defense enhance, we want bulwark of protection with increased duration and time acceleration. Shadow Provocation is here only for the arm amplification and we want buff activation when hit. So it would proc automatically whenever we, we are hit. Lingering Shout, Hushed Shout and time acceleration. For movement, as a bow we can only use Trick Shot with his arm and at the same time we can use Sprint. For utilities, you want Illusion Arrow linked to Dampen Resource Cost and Extract Earth Energy. This is quite a bit of damage increase early. It's gonna be hard to stack, but it's still worth it. For Defense Seal, you can use any seal you want. I picked up Seal of Dodge, but you can use Physical, Elemental Domain, Chaos, Elemental Resistances, whatever you need the most. And of course, because we are Maximize build, we want to use Seal of Persistence. No other seal is gonna work good for us, so this is a must. For Zodiacs, we start with Aphros into Swamp, Gold, Stem, Flash, Dewdrop, Rainbow. This taunted sense is, is a lot of damage into sweep, we don't care about weapon range, we only care about strength damage amplification, into thirst for elements, scent again for damage amp, damage amp intense hit, hit of endurance, fang for projectile damage amp, in here we want to pick up Cold Gaze for damage jump against Cold Status. If you have 200 stats, you can pick up Power of Harmony. In Plague, we want to pick up Frost Shelter, so that amp from the previous three would work. Mold for Lightning Flash. And for the non specializations, that would be it. But remember, whenever you unlock your specialization, you always want to spend your points on specialization first. I'm just showing it in systematic order so it would be easier to see. And your first spec is gonna unlock after you spend 22 points, second spec unlocks when you spend 45, and first spec unlocks when you spend 70, so remember that. But for the spec we want to go with Dawn. If you have Convert Mana, you can spend those two points somewhere else, but most people don't, so I'm just leaving Convert Mana in here. On the second one, you want to go Strike, Damage, Amplification, and Elemental Observer. And on Sympathy, you want to pick up HP Absorbent Hit. If you don't have a HP Absorbent Hit, what's gonna happen? You're gonna keep dying from the Convert Mana, so be careful. After that, you, can, you want to pick up Strike, Damage, Amplification. I picked up attack speed and HP amplification, but actually you don't have to spend these points. You can spend these four points somewhere else on your zodiacs. But I'm leaving this just for the ease of mind. For charm blessings, we want to start with Akabin, then Leo into Caster. These three are the only options we have. For the charms, we are looking for maximize damage multiplier. This is the main one we want to get. After that, damage multiplier when two-handed, or just a damage multiplier. Both of those options is gonna work really good. And the third one, the optional one, would be chance to deal double maximize damage. 
but this one decreases in efficiency if you if you have band of certainty and this one is not as good as just damage multiplier especially on this build for legendary prefix we are looking for strike damage amplification this is a huge damage increase for us and maximize chance is not as great as strike damage amplification but this can also work don't forget elemental pen if you are on elemental build this is also not a bad option but strike damage amp is the best one for relics you want to start with psebda pick up Enhanced Chaos Resist on the passive and on the active, Mental Stimulation with cooldown recovery speed and increased buff effect. For the second one, you want to go Acubin and on the passive pick up Lightning Penetration with uh, Lightning Damage. For the third one, I would say Castor is the best choice, is the easiest choice. On the Castor, you can go to Enhanced Sanctum Effect to basically buff your... get longer buffs and more damage on those buffs or whatever those buffs give so those are in range swiftness fortune and so on or you can also switch to shout skill and duration and strength whatever you need the most so canister is like nice utility one that you can pick up whatever you need the most and for the last one it's always gonna be boreal because the last one can only level up to 15 and we want enhanced hp for weapon on a maximize build you want to get the one with critical rate 7, which is the lowest critical rate for the boss. And that's because the lower the critical rate, the higher the base damage of the weapon. And we don't care about crit, so we want critical rate 7. On the rolls themselves, we are looking for this. This is basically close to a perfect bow. However, you're not going to be able to get all of these. So I would say it's best to aim for a weapon attack damage multiplier. Maximize damage multiplier and lightning damage flat. After that, get the rest of it. But at least two suffixes of multiplier and maximize damage multiplier is necessary. For quiver, it's kinda similar. For a prefix, we want lightning damage flat, attack speed multiplier. And on the suffix, there is one interesting thing. You can get chance to deal double maximize damage on hit, which is not gonna be as efficient. Elemental damage multiplier, which is going to be good, and critical damage. However, with critical damage, there is a nuance that you want to recraft this into elemental damage amp on the craft bench, as we don't have any other choice for a maximize builds. For the ring, it's going to be same thing as with Quiver. At X speed, hit rate flat, elemental damage multi, then chance to deal double maximize damage on hit, which... If you're using Band of Certainty and Lightning Energies, it's not going to be as huge value. However, this, you can still salvage. And Critical Damage suffix, which we know Critical Damage doesn't work. So you need to recraft this on the Alchemy Bench into Elemental Damage Amplification. For other equipment, basically what you want to aim is for as much defense as you can. So on chest, you can go HP flat, HP multi. And then main defense multiplier, because this is an ammo chest. It's ammo multiplier. If it was dodge, you would want dodge multiplier. And on the suffixes, just as much resistance as you can till you cap it out. If you want more offensive rolls, you can roll on the glove some attack speed and so on so on. Just depends on what you're aiming for. But early, I suggest to aim for more defense. On boots, don't forget to pick up movement speed increase, as it's going to be the best. At the same time, maybe you're gonna get lucky and roll a projectile damage amplification, projectile damage multiplier. For the skill board later into the game, this is what we're looking for. So unleash lightning shot awaken it to verity, shadow archer awaken it to verity, mana storm awaken it to source or verity. I would say source makes more sense. It's easier to pick up the damage. Verity kind of doesn't work for us in this build unless you change some of the link runes, but I highly suggest not to. However, you don't have to use Mana Storm in here, you can also use Strike. And Strike is only good when you overcap your attack speed. If you don't overcap your attack speed, don't use Strike, use Mana Storm and fix your mana problems. After that, Elemental Damage Amplification into Source, Smash into Source, Persistence into Origin, and Split Projectile into Verity. 
The other changes on the skill board are basically these. I added totem activation upon using enhanced skill and linked it with the weakened totem. You want weakened totem awaken it to source. This is verity. So keep that in mind. Source is better. To remove crowd control, you want to use shadow of justice linked with buff activation upon crowd control so it would work automatically. On shadow provocation, I'll also added Perdos Row, which is a damage taken increase debuff on the enemies and enhance effect enhance effect is nice as it also works on marksman and on marksman you want to awaken it into origin for enhanced skill rune effect and at the same time you can use decrease duration as it gives you skill rune effect but it dampens your duration so be careful with this one you really want to test this on a training dummy to see if you actually get the damage or you get a damage decrease because this requires some specific authority crafts to be better. Season 6 meta is still basically an energy meta, but mostly for the maximized builds. So in this case, what you want to do, you want to have extract energy awakened to source, but you want max energies plus 2. To remove the negative tooltip basically, and extract lightning energy at the same time. And these two links in combination is going to be so much more damage than, uh, than just any other damage amp link runes right now. And most of the damage comes from all the energies that you generate and at the same time from the tooltip of extract energy that says damage amplification per one energy possessed. And because we, uh, we can get random energies on a hit, you are always on max stacks for all, all of the energies that there are in game. That's why it's so good right now. It still works very well on maximized builds and you can test it. You're going to see it's still more damage increase than any other combination. At the same time, don't forget that you can still increase your energy count as we are doing with extract earth energies on our illusion arrow. So this one adds at max level plus three. So our lightning energies and our earth energies are actually on 8, not on 5. So that also adds a little bit more damage, damage amplification to the build. You can also add more stuff in here, but this is pretty casual friendly right now. And this would be basically all for the rebirth meta. For critical skill board, you want to make these changes. Uh, pick up Seal of Striking instead of Seal of Persistence and on Unleash Lightning Shot, Extract Lightning Energy, Elemental Damage Amplification, Additional Lightning Damage, and Mana Storm. But these four links are kinda optional. And the main idea to take away from this is you only want to use Extract Lightning Energy early into the game before you start acquiring the Legendary Charms with a Maximization Chance Affix. After that, as soon as you get that, lightning energies are no longer good because critical builds late into the game switches to a also maximized build. That's where all the damage comes from for a critical plus maximized hybrid builds. And remember, whenever you get a legendary chance with maximization chance, you have to remove lightning energy. So when you do that, the only option you can do is basically add maximization damage increase this link becomes much better as soon as you get maximization chance of course we have still the same problem later in the game we want to have as much damage amp on our skill rune as possible and what you can do you can switch additional lightning damage into harmony if you have mana to spare or if you overcap your attack speed you can use strike if none of those work for you Lightning Penetration is also a good choice, especially on high level maps. I'm talking like 165 and plus. This, this is when the Lightning Penetration start, start to shine. On the Zodiacs, instead of going Distorted Senses, you want to pick up an Elaborate Attack for Critical Chance. And on the Sympathy, you can pick up Capable instead of going for some HP Amplification. This is a pretty strong node. For charms, we're still aiming for Acuban, Leo, and Castor. We have no other choice. However, on the charms themselves, we are looking for critical damage and critical rate. Those two nodes has to be on the charm. And after that, you can look for damage multipliers or damage multiplier when two-handed or even maximize damage. As 
our best legendary prefix is maximization chance. This is what you're looking for. Because this is going to be the most damage, but remember, you'll have to remove their lightning energies from your build. But this is huge damage increase. At the same time, as a second suffix, you can pick up maximize damage. For a critical build, it's opposite. On the weapon, we want the one with critical rate 11, as it means more critical rates. And on the rolls themselves, we want gear critical rate multiplier as a suffix 100%, and then whatever you can get. Of course, it's gonna be weapon damage multiplier. The second best, critical damage, then lightning damage flat, weapon attack damage flat, and weapon speed multiplier. But remember, you always want to get gear critical rate multiplier. After that, on the quiver, it's kinda the same. You want to aim for as, as much uh, critical as you can. So you pick up attack critical rate also. And after that, whatever you, whatever you can roll. On the prefix, like hit rate or HP is also good, depending on what you need the most. Item crafts are basically the same. On the ring, also just aim for critical rates. It's the best option. Uniques for a maximized build is only one that is necessary to do it, is Band of Certainty. This is insane amount of damage whenever you're on maximized build. Remember that. Without this, maximized build doesn't really work that good. And for a critical build, you want to have Castle Refraction, which gives you basically a flat critical rate. This is everything I wanted to say and to show. I cut a lot of stuff about the energy meta. You can still do quite a bit of stuff. You can pick up more extractions, like extract called on something like Illusion Axe, Blood Explosion, Poison Explosion, and so on and so on. But I think that stuff is a little bit too complicated for this one, so I kept it just like what is easy to do and doesn't require that much investment. But yeah, GG's have fun and see you on the next one.